hi hello everybody welcome to vikas commerce tutorials once again so my dear students now in this session i am going to discuss the important questions of two marks from pvc second year economic subjects so as your exams are nearing that is tomorrow and uh, today's class will be about two marks important questions from economics again here i have a pdf which is related to microeconomics as well as macroeconomics part a and part b both this is the revised question bank and that too with answers so with answers i will provide you the important questions of two marks category so start with uh, chapter number 1 that is introduction to microeconomics from this chapter we have two marks important questions okay so which are the two marks important questions from this chapter yes here is the question number 1 this is one of the most important question and also this is for a uh, four marks category sometimes whichever we have mentioned for four marks that questions may also come for two marks okay so study thoroughly the four marks questions also now this central problems i have also mentioned in four marks in four marks category you need to explain the answers but here you need not explain you need to just only write the points they are asking the central problems of economy what are to be produced how the goods are to be produced and for whom it should be produced so this one question for uh, one mark sorry two marks category and uh, ppf i have already given in four marks category production possibility from frontier so study in four marks only and another important question was specifically for two marks is distinguish between positive and normative economics now central problems i have given in four marks ppf i have given in four marks so leave that questions for two marks specifically studied this if you are studying four marks already there again you are, you need not study here okay so specific for two marks is positive economics and normative economics difference between positive economics and normative economics so this is one of the most important question for two marks okay uh, then different the difference between micro and macroeconomics this also i have given already in four marks category so coming to next chapter only one question is important there positive and normative economics coming to second chapter from part a that is consumer uh, behavior theory of consumer behavior which is very important of 20 marks uh, chapter so here coming to two marks category yes where is two marks okay here i have answered the following in uh, four sentences each this itself is a two mark category question okay they have not mentioned here but it is two marks question so what are the important questions number 1 this is one of the most important question that is question number 2 what is monotonic preference monotonic preference the meaning they are asking for two marks okay this is one of the most important question and very very important uh, the question which has been asked in a model question paper as well as some preparatory question papers i have observed this question that is a difference between budget line and budget set there is a small gap that it is speaking the first point is speaking about line and the second point is speaking about set so you need to difference the budget line and budget set so this is the most important question from this chapter one is monotonic preference and the other one is difference between budget line and budget set so another important question where uh, we need to study about two marks okay study law of demand also question number uh, question number 6 uh, uh study the law of demand which is very easy and also study what do you mean by inferior goods inferior goods are very very simple inferior goods are those goods which which the demand falls and in the with the increase in income if income increases such products demand will lose automatically such goods are called as inferior goods which are usually low cost goods okay if their income levels are increasing they don't prefer that low quality goods because their income is increasing such goods are called as inferior so study this question also and also price elasticity of demand and its formula percentage change in demand divided by percentage change in price demand divided by that is quantity demand q uh, summation so delta d divided by delta p change in quantity divided by change in price into price divided by quantity here on the screen you are observing here they have given the formula okay so this is the formula for the price elasticity of demand they have asked for two marks okay so to sum up from this chapter you need to study uh, if you skip monotonic preference that is okay but study difference between budget line and budget set most important must uh, study question and uh, study state of law of demand and also study question number 7 and 6 and 8 6 7 8 and budget line and budget difference so these are the four important questions so now you may ask sir why four these are many, too many questions for two marks because this is the important chapter 
theory of consumer behavior is a 20 marks oriented chapter so this is a big chapter you need to study as many questions as possible so study four questions from this chapter question number six seven eight and difference between budget line and budget set okay next coming to next chapter that is a uh, chapter number three production and cost so from production and cost let us observe which are the two marks important questions okay so i am moving forward please hold uh, yes these are one marks questions yes here you come answer the following in four sentences so these are the uh, two marks uh, questions types of returns to scale i have already mentioned in four marks question number two so need not study short run cost i have also mentioned in six marks category long run cost i have mentioned in four marks category so wherever i have mentioned in four and six so that's are not required okay so from chapter number three i don't think any questions are important for two marks because short run cost long run cost and returns to scale i have already mentioned in four marks category and six marks category so directly i will jump to question chapter number four uh, that is a theory of form under a perfect competition so from this chapter coming to two marks category yes here we have uh, meaning of shutdown point i have already given in four marks category meaning of shutdown point break even point and normal profit so need not study question number two because already covered in question number four if you want to at all study study opportunity cost meaning with an example this will be one of the most important uh, question determinants of firm supply curve i have already given in four marks category so need no requirement of studying that question also so just uh, study only if in case you need to study only you need to study meaning of shutdown point already given in two marks category and opportunity cost i have not given anywhere so study this opportunity cost and determinants of supply curve i have already given in four marks so these only are the three important questions determinants of supply curve opportunity cost and meaning of shutdown point coming to next chapter that is uh, chapter number five we have market equilibrium so from market equilibrium which are the two marks important questions so let us observe the two marks important questions yes here comes market equilibrium uh, coming to yes uh, define equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity very very important question mark this question uh, define equilibrium price and quantity very important so study this question it is a must study question uh, never given in four or six marks category so this is purely for two marks category uh, study this question and uh, yes coming to question number four study this question also how wage is determined in the labor market this was also asked in previous year 2023 a1 sorry 2024 a1 question paper it has been appeared in model question papers also so i consider this as important determined how wage is determined in labor market question number four and question number one define equilibrium price and quantity otherwise there are no any such important questions coming to part b that is uh, introduction to macroeconomics from macroeconomics chapter number one we have introduction uh, okay here uh, we don't have any of the uh, i will remove another pdf because this was only related with microeconomics so coming to macro yes here we have macroeconomics category so coming to macroeconomics i will come to chapter number one that is the uh, introduction to macroeconomics yes here we have who are the economic and the macroeconomic decision makers so need you no know, need to study of that uh, uh, chapter that uh, question not that important come to question number three what are the features of capitalistic economy capitalistic economy is one of the most important questions from this category uh, very simple private ownership and production takes place in the output of the in the market uh, sale and purchase of labor services at a price which is called as wage rate any two features they have written four features okay they have written four features here you need to write any two features because it may it will appear only for two marks so this is most important questions and only one question i consider because there are only three questions so question number two itself sorry question number three itself is important question only one question from this chapter coming to second chapter uh Yes, here we have national income accounting Yes, very very famous chapter because 17 marks chapter the chapter number two from micro theory consumer behavior chapter number two from macroeconomics that is also important national income accounting from both parts second chapter is very important okay so coming to two marks category yes this is one of the most asked question that is four factors of production mention their rewards land labor capital organization for land we give rent as reward 
for labor we give wages for capital we give interest and for organization we give profits so these are the four factors of production with their rewards very very simple question for two marks okay uh, another important question here is difference between consumer goods and capital goods and also difference between stock and flow so whatever uh, you are seeing on your screen that is a question number three and question number four both are difference related questions uh, question number three is speaking about difference between consumer goods and capital goods whereas question number four is speaking about distinction or difference between stock and flow okay so these are the three important questions from national income accounting number one four factors of production number three difference between consumer goods question number four stock and flow difference and also you need to study this question also uh, it is also categorized for four marks also but i have not given as important but study for two marks say three methods of measuring gdp what are the three methods which are used for measuring the gdp so these are the four important questions for national income accounting right? two marks coming to next chapter that is chapter number three from uh, part b that is macroeconomics chapter number three here it is money and banking so coming to money and banking category of two marks yes here we have two marks functions of money which I have already mentioned in uh, four marks category also. Uh, then uh, another important uh, question I think here may they may ask is uh, question number seven has been asked sometimes. What role of RBI is known as lender of last resort? What do you mean by lender of last resort? What actually RBI does as a lender of last resort? Okay, so this question you need to study. Only this question is important according to the question papers and all okay next i will move on to chapter number three of macroeconomics chapter number three no sorry chapter number three is money and banking itself chapter number four determination of income and employment coming to determination of income and employment uh, we come to four marks category Con components of consumption function and investment function i have already given in four marks category so need not study for two marks uh, investment multiplier meaning of investment multiplier and write the formula that is question number six important question from this chapter okay uh, and question number seven both six and seven last two questions meaning of investment multiplier with the formula and question number seven meaning of paradox of thrift so what do you mean by paradox of thrift and what do you mean by investment of investment multiplier these are the two important questions from determination of income and employment okay i will move to chapter number five from macroeconomics that is government budget and uh, open economy uh, let me move to the chapter yes we have here government budget and the economy so coming to two marks category uh, from this chapter why public goods must be see why public yes here we have question number three this is the important question why public goods must be provided by the government here there are some of the reasons you can write any one of that and then uh, another important here is yes, distinguish between surplus budget and deficit budget this is also one of the important question and question number nine so three questions i am considering as important question from government budget and economy that is chapter number five of second part that is macroeconomics okay distinguish between surplus budget and deficit surplus in the sense more that is profit deficit in the sense less that is loss okay and question number nine why proportional income tax acts as an automatic stabilizer so this is also one of the most important question okay question number uh, three why public goods must be provided by the government question number eight and question number nine so coming to last chapter that is uh, open economy macroeconomics from that chapter yes, here we have open economy that is uh, two marks category only one question i think as important that is question number three when do surplus and deficit arises in capital account apart from this i don't think any of the important question only study question number three when do surplus and deficit arises in capital account okay so these are the two marks important questions so many of them ask me sir 100 percent are you sure from whatever questions you are giving will they come in your exams in our exams say if i am doing my level best your people are doing my your level best whatever questions i have given don't skip 100 percent study all the questions because uh, they are asking you 10 questions am i right they oh, you need to only answer six questions out of 10 so you have still four questions which you can skip so i am sure that whatever questions i have studied i have discussed now 
हंड्रेड परसेंट आउट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल गेट सिक्स क्वेश्चन ओके बट इफ टाइम परमिट्स डू एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव टाइम इफ यू डोंट हैव टाइम जस्ट पास ऑन विद दिस एवरेज स्कोर सिक्सटी सेवेंटी अप टू सेवेंटी ऑल्सो यू कैन स्कोर ओके बट इफ यू स्टिल हैव एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम सर हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी दिस क्वेश्चन इफ यू स्टिल हैव टाइम यू कैन स्टडी सम ऑफ द मोर क्वेश्चन बट स्टिल आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू फोकस ऑन रिवाइज क्वेश्चन बैंक इट सेल्फ ओके सो एवेल इन माई सेशन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग कॉमर्स टूटोरियल थैंक यू